It is now time for Python on Hardware News. Whew. All right. It's the first one of the year. Yeah. So if you haven't already, go to adafruitdaily.com and sign up for our newsletter. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Um, number one thing, no matter what, if you're just going to do one nice thing for CircuitPython or for us, is please, please, please take a look at the CircuitPython 2021 post. It's on our blog. And what we're asking is, what should CircuitPython do? Where should it go in 2021? So um, things that we want to know, projects we'd like to build, things you think could be easier, additional community programs, weekly meeting, core, CircuitPython features, core, CPython libraries to add, additional microcontroller platforms, new boards to support, library improvements, Blinka, additional libraries, package management, um, documentation improvement, learning system, read the docs, video tutorials, ecosystem needs, this newsletter, the awesome circuit Python, uh, GitHub, circuitpython.org, the Adafruit support forum, Discord channel, tooling enhancements, GitHub actions, the bootloader. And one of the things specifically is if you say the type of projects you're going to do, um, that helps a lot because if CircuitPython can't do it, we can add those features. Right. And I think sometimes... Um, when, especially when we started, I don't think folks realized how fast we were going to move. Like, if you want to do a music playing robot, you can do it Circuit Python now. Very easily. And when we first started, people were like, I want to be able to play MP3s. No, you can. I want to be able to display fonts. No, no problem. I want to do e. No problem. I want to do like uh, cool animations. Well, we do low power now. I mean, yeah. like we're, we're I want, adding. I want low power and sleep mode. Right. So we're, we're do, we are adding things, but what would be really helpful is. Here's a project that you want to build that you can't build. That yeah. it don't. I, I know some people are like, I need you to add this feature, and that's one thing. But sometimes we we make things capable of doing your project, not necessarily directly the way you think. So it's more helpful to say, Hi, I'm trying to build a CNC driver, and I need to be able to send data back and forth in like a binary format. That's more useful to us to help us know what's needed in the community than just saying. You know, I need you to make dynamic USB descriptors, which we might do. But there might be other ways to solve your problem. We want to solve people's problems um, and not just tick off boxes for the sh sake of saying, yeah. like, oh, they have a box ticked and we need a box ticked. So I think that's that. That's what most useful is. M the most useful thing is to tell us what projects you'd like to build that you can't. We posted up some of our coming soon. It's a bit of a recap. We have our Cyber Deck add-ons for Raspberry Pi 400. Um, have a couple of new boards that we're releasing. Um, Twinkie. The SD card on the chip thing. It was a pretty popular video. Um, it's basically like an SD card inside of a chip. It's an SD card on a chip, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. So um, other so new SP32 bits of hardware. Boards. Yeah, the SP32 uh, S2 S3 was announced. That's right. So we're looking forward to that. That's basically a dual core S2, and it re-adds Bluetooth low energy. So oh. that's kind of nice. Here's a mag tag on a Maytag. Um, it's a dishwasher status indicator. I wanted to do this project, and yeah. it, was, it was cool to see somebody, like, you know, I'm, I'm not upset, like, oh, they stole my idea. I'm like, I'm glad that somebody else built this project because I didn't get to it. Practical IoT hacking has CircuitPython mentioned in it. You can check out this really neat um, game console developed around the Adafruit Matrix Portal control oh, cool. board. They have like a soundboard to it. Yeah, it's kind of neat. It's kinda neat. Oh, um, they ported uh, Carter's um, weather to the yeah, this Pi is Portal a Titano. Pi Portal Titano with weather. Um, here's a multi game of life to show the different variations of game of life, mm. and it's all running CircuitPython. This is really cool. Here's a keyboard designed as a feather wing. A CircuitPython Star Wars Pixel Tree Topper for the holidays. Yes. 3D Point. Uh, printed lightsaber with a feather and the prop maker feather wing programmed in CircuitPython. Um, here is Kid, and this kid built a robot over the holiday break with CircuitPython. Lots Yay. of kids doing lots of projects. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of those lately. I like this, like the light speed between the Earth moon and jupiter this yeah. is a cool like scientific visual this visualization this uses a project. trinket m0 and circuit python they're probably wondering how come i'm seeing so many like really advanced and or sciencey projects with circuit python it's because a lot of people know python and that translates really well to circuit python because it's identical yeah. and yeah. they're able to do hardware projects now all right so yeah if you know python um Being staff, some cool um, python. i like this this is a cool thing this is the ultimate guide to fancy fantasy football but you learn python along the way yeah it's it's a paid I love book, stuff like this. but I think it's cool. All right, I, yeah. I like that they went a totally different way. Like everybody's like, you know, learn Python, like the hardware, or whatever. This person's like, no, yeah. you like fantasy football. It's like it's so niche, but it's also like a, a large community of people. New guides, including you know, single serving things. I like these because it's like here's I just want to see Twitter from this account. Yeah, um, we are now up to two hundred eighty nine libraries. Check it out. Um, Lamora is doing a talk 
and uh, Linux Conf AU about Circuit Coming Python up Blinka. Soon. And of course, don't forget PyCon's coming up. They did hit their uh, fundraising goals, Yay. by the way. We uh, helped out the best we could with that from not only donating, but getting the word out and doing a membership drive. Thank you, everyone in the channel who did that when we yep. were doing that. And as always, please check out Discord all throughout the week and more. And if you want to learn CircuitPython, check out Code Academy. And that is, you guessed it. Blinka, blinka, blinka. That's right. Okie dokie.